Hello, it's me, back again with another video. Uh, coming to you dressed in my pyjamas. Uh, don't worry, I will change out of them as soon as I'm done recording this, and uh, I will go about the rest of the day in uh, normal clothes. So don't you worry, I'm not that lazy. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, as you all know, I'm sure you know this, uh, over the past... Uh, I guess few days, I've been in a very enormous reading slump and have been very indecisive as to what it is I wanted to read. Uh, you know, I had, like I said, a, a very threatening amount of books that was presented uh, in front of me to choose from, but really couldn't make a decision as to what to read. Until rather, rather suddenly, I was informed by Logan that he was intending to read a certain book uh, by a certain author and was asking me whether I would uh, very much would like to engage in what's called a buddy read with him. If you don't know what a buddy read is, it's basically like a, an online book club where you, I suppose, you get several people to read a book. I guess you read it at your own pace. And then you update them on your progress, either through emails or through comments on YouTube videos, whatever it is. And basically, you know, you, you just read the, read the book uh, and uh, express your thoughts on it, I suppose. You know, how it's going and all that. And all. It, it's, it's quite fun. Uh, I did very much enjoy this buddy read. And I uh, would very much... I would very much like to uh, participate in another one, uh, should the occasion arise. But uh, I've just finished uh, the book that uh, we were reading, and uh, I figured I may as well post a review of it, because it was asked of me uh, by Logan and also Ahab, who is also participating in this uh, buddy read. So I figured I may as well. And this book in particular... Uh, I meant to read for many years. In fact, I, I was going to read it when a recent film adaption of it came out, but I realized that that uh, film had very little to do with the actual source material, so I didn't end up reading it. But now, since uh, you know we've just completed this buddy read, uh, I decide you know I decided I may as well uh, consult it. Anyway, the book in question is uh, this one. The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. Uh, this is the fourth H.G. Wells book I've had the pleasure to read. Uh, the ones I've read before this, obviously, were The Time Machine, which I thought was very good, uh, The War of the Worlds, which I also thought was very good, and The Island of Dr. Moreau, which I thought was exceptional. And uh, this one is also... Uh, a very exceptional book uh, by Wells. Uh, it actually goes to show you that whatever you pick up by Wells, you can very well... Uh, you can imagine that you're going to have a good time, no matter what the story is. But anyway, uh, I guess I should get to the meat of the review. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with this story in some capacity or other, but I'll go ahead and uh, give my brief uh, uh, summation of it. So basically, uh, it starts off with uh, this one strange individual who is all, you know, bundled up in uh, bandages and, uh, you know, a frock coat and hat, kind of like the man on the cover right there. Uh, and he stops by this inn, uh, you know, to basically stay for the night and to carry out, uh, he says, his, uh, I suppose, investigations. I believe he was called a something investigator, uh, chemical investigator, one of those. Uh, I think I can pull it up here. I saw it somewhere here. Either way, uh, he uh, 
is carrying out some investigations and such. And really, uh, the people uh, who run this inn and the various people who happen to stop by it, uh, you know, take note as to how private an individual and he is. And, you know, listen in to his uh, uh, rantings and ravings and such in his, uh, in his room whilst he's there, and begin to question uh, who or even what he is. And there are, you know, various uh, indications that he may even be, you know, black as an African, or that, uh, you know, he might be uh, a mutant, or not mutant, but, you know, like deformed or something or other. But then, I suppose, uh, about 30 pages into the story, it is revealed that he is, in fact, an invisible man. And, uh, you know, because of this, uh, the town, I believe it's in Sussex, where this is set, somewhere in Sussex, uh, in England, uh, is basically uh, in uproar, not in uproar, but uh, is basically is rocked by this uh, revelation and, uh, you know, therefore on the hunt for this, uh, this fella. And, uh, and that pretty much uh, carries through through the whole book. He's basically on the run from all these people who are trying to get after him uh, and such. Uh, it's, it's almost, in a sense, a, a very early uh, thriller novel. When was this written? 1897. So it's, it's in a sense a thriller novel because, you know, he's always on the run from uh, these people. He actually uh, uh, take, you know, takes the confidence or takes other people into his confidence, you know, as sort of his accomplices and such. And basically, uh, it's sign of a, a kind of a mystery as to why it is he is invisible and such, and, you know, who really this man is. But also, uh, it is also kind of like a crime story, too. Yes, you could say it is very well science fiction, because, obviously, it has to do with a man who has uh, come up with a formula that's made, that's basically made him invisible. But uh, he uses this uh, to his, I guess, advantage to try and see what he could pull off in this state that his fellow corporeal or visible man could not, and does this to commit various crimes, such as, you know, petty larceny, uh, theft, theft, and even uh, uh, murder some people. Uh, very, uh, very wicked stuff he, he gets into. And so, basically, this hunt continues for this invisible man, and, uh, you know, all these, you know, he gains the uh, trust of, uh, you know, uh, a few different people throughout this book, who, you know, evidently uh, are not so trusting characters. And I suppose that's where I'll leave off, because that's all I want to disclose about this uh this book, because I feel if I give away any more, that I'll spoil all of you uh, who want to uh, partake in this uh, uh, little novel. Uh, I read this book, uh, I started it on Monday, and I just finished it, it's almost 11, it's like 10.42 right now, I finished it just right now, and uh, on a Wednesday, and uh, I find that it was a very quick read, uh, like I said, very thrilling, uh, it, it, you, 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 you'll find that uh, this book is very hard to put down, as most of Wells' books are, and you know, you'll be able to finish it very quickly, and such, and I can tell you right now that uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't want to say 
that it's better than The Island of Dr. Moreau, because that's still my favorite Wells novel. But I will say that I did... This is one of the better uh, Wells novels that I've read. And I'm so glad that I actually have uh, uh, finally gotten to reading it. Thank you very much, Logan, for uh, finally coaxing me into reading this book. I don't know if it would have ever been read had it not been for you. Uh, a couple other things on this book. Uh, this has been made into various films. Obviously, there's a very famous adaption that was done in the 30s with Claude Rains, uh, which I've seen, which is very good. And uh, obviously, recently, I think just this year, there was a film called the... I'm sure there are other films, but there was a film called The Invisible Man, which was based very loosely on this story. But that was also a very thrilling film. Almost as thrilling as this novel, to tell you the truth. But in the end, I do highly recommend this book. If you've not read it already, then I suggest you do so. And especially considering that Halloween is looming, uh, this would be a great read uh, for the season. And one last thing, I suppose. Uh, you know for Logan and or Ahab, who happened to be reading this book. As I was reading <laughs> this, I always, in my mind, heard the voice of Mark Hamill's Joker <laughs> as the Invisible Man. <laughs> so I don't know what that says about me, but uh, I, I, would, I think if they were to adapt it again, like a straight adaption of this book, that they would have to get Mark Hamill at least to do his voice. If not, you know, play him. But at least to do the voice, because that would be just wonderful. It really would. Either way, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. And uh, I recommend it. I give this my highest recommendation possible. So, uh, that was my review of The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. Uh... I will try and leave a link in the description to Logan's review, uh, if he ever decides to post one, and to Ahab's review, if he ever decides to post one. Uh, you know, so you can see, I guess, our thoughts on the book. But, uh, as I said, I very much enjoyed it. I would like to actually to engage in another one of these buddy reads, because this was very fun, very enjoyable, and it got me reading again. And now, I... I I feel like reading another book. Uh, I may very well go and read Three Men in a Boat next. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shower, change into some cleaner clothes and such, and get on with the rest of my day. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you soon. And look for and I'll look forward to see both Logan's review and, if Ahab ever does one, his review. So... Thank you very much. This was a wonderful, a truly wonderful experience, and I do hope one day to participate in yet another one of these buddy reads sometime in the not-too-distant future.